this morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to The Early Show. I'm Harry Smith, along with Maggie Rodriguez. And coming up in this hour, if you're one of the millions of Americans who's tried everything to lose weight, we are here to tell you something revolutionary this morning. Break all the rules. That's what Dr. Jennifer Ashton is here to say. There are so many rules that have become rules, and no one knows why, because they're not true. Mm -hmm. They're just myths, and Dr. Jen is going to break them down for us this morning. And we're kicking off our namesake series this morning. This is so good, right? You ever Google your own name, and you kind of look at these other people? That's Harry Smith from DeLand, Florida. Awesome. He is the karaoke king <laughs> of North Central Florida. This guy is so good at what he does, has the most amazing voice and a spectacular following. We got to go out, hang out with him, and you will meet him in just a couple of minutes. I love how excited you are about he that. Is, he is a star. Can't wait to meet Harry Smith, but first let's go inside where Erica Hill is standing by at the news desk with a check of the headlines. Good morning. Good morning, and I am itching to see that as well. We've been hearing a lot about it, especially to hear Harry sing. That's ahead. First, though, in New Delhi this morning, President Obama said India should have a permanent place on the U.S. Thanks, Thank Max. you. Up next, we'll launch our namesake series by meeting a guy named Harry Smith, who has a hey, bit Harry more Smith. hair nice and a lot more karaoke <laughs> talent than our Harry. <laughs> you don't want to miss this. You're watching The Early Show on CBS. CBS Health Watch, sponsored by new Advil Congestion Relief. Did you ever Google yourself to check out who else in the world has the exact same name as you? Well, we decided to do that here at The Early Show. And today, we kick off our namesake series outside Daytona Beach, Florida. And that's where I had the pleasure of meeting Harry Smith. Good morning, everybody. I'm Harry Smith. I'm Harry Smith. Harry Smith. It seems like a common enough name, Harry Smith. And there have been a few famous ones. In the 1960s, there was Harry Smith, the champion bowler. And Harry Smith, the famous musicologist, who even inspired a band named the Harry Smiths. But until now, I had never heard of Harry Smith of DeLand, Florida. So here we are in Florida, and I got to tell you, in my whole life, I have never, ever, ever, ever met another person named Harry Smith. So, well, there you go. There he is. How are you doing? Hey, Harry Smith. Good to meet you. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure I would have recognized you. <laughs> Although we share the same name and a love of dogs, the similarities pretty much end there. Harry lives with his girlfriend more than a thousand miles away. And when it comes to hair, it's no contest. <laughs> Florida's Harry Smith is indeed a Harry God. Plus, Harry owns his own business, a karaoke business. It's not just karaoke, though. It's harry Every Friday night, Harry sets up his show in the pub at the Halifax Plantation Country Club. The packed house proved what we had heard, that Harry is the karaoke king of North Central Florida. Do you love Harry? I love Harry. My name is Harry Smith. It's wonderful to see everybody here. And like every said, time Harry Smith picks up a microphone, he knocks them dead. Six nights a week, Harry Smith puts on karaoke shows around Central Florida. And he has fans. legions of fans. So what do you like best about coming here? Harry. He makes anybody sound good, Harry. You're a Harry groupie. I'm a Harry groupie. That's what I am. And it's easy to see why. Not only does Harry entertain, He makes everyone who takes the stage feel like they are the star. There are people that come out to do karaoke who have miserable lives or have, you know, traumatic events happening, and for three minutes, they forget all of that. For a few hours every night, his patrons, who have become his friends, dance and sing their hearts out. 
and nothing could make Harry happy. But to be able to do something for a living that you would probably do as a hobby anyway, and be beloved for it, and make a comfortable living, absolutely, that's the American dream. Welcome to Harioki, Harry. Put the Harry in Harioki. When the time finally came for my turn at the mic, with due apologies to Garth Brooks, I found out firsthand why Harry Smith really is the king of karaoke. Harry stepped in right when I needed him most. You'll never hear me complain. Help him out, everybody. Then we all joined him. We'll never forget it. It's not just karaoke, it's Harry. That man is. I, he's, he's a rock star. He, uh, I love him. I love it, and I loved you doing it. And I love that you couldn't sing. It was sweeter that way. A little, <laughs> a little out of my range. But so much fun. And his fans are crazy about him. He has cultivated this, uh, you know, night after night after night. It's packed wherever he goes. I think there's something about Harry Smith that makes people smile. That are lovable. They're uh, all lovable. I think it so. It may be in the name. Uh, it may, may be. be. Maybe that's it. So great to meet uh, him. He is so good. What a fun story. Yeah. Knocked my socks off, though. He came up and he started singing. When he sings, he's he's as good, his voice is as good as anybody you'll hear on Idol oh, yeah. or any of those other shows. He just knocks it out of the park. But the best part is, like he said, he's living the American dream. He's doing it his way. Yeah. Something How he, he loves. Wants to do it. He can yeah. make a living at it. Yeah. He makes other people happy. Right. That's Speaking perfect. of interesting parts of that story, also, a lot of what he does, it's all social networking. That's what he does during the day. That's he how he gets sure the word out. He gets the word out. He gets. He stays in contact well, with his Well, after this, he's never going to have to advertise again. <laughs> there you go. Good for him. Well, I want to thank him for letting us uh, ride along because it was a blast. Awesome. I really felt just a, pl a, a privilege to just kind of hang out with him. So it sweet. Looks like you really had a great time doing it. I think you need it. to go back for more karaoke. Well, <laughs> bring us all. I think we have to put a karaoke system yeah. in the studio during yeah. commercial yeah. breaks. Well, not. but the job that I got to do, you may not want to come along because it was no. <laughs> Joke. I met Maggie Rodriguez, the ER nurse in Southern California, and I was an ER nurse for a day, and it was no joke. I mean, I once thought about going into medicine, and my day with Maggie reaffirmed my decision to not do it. She's amazing at it, though, and an amazing woman, and unlike you, Harry, she and I have so much in common. Wow. So, meet her tomorrow here on The Early Show. Be right back. What a beautiful office she right. had there. <laughs> what a beautiful family he lives with. Really neat, huh? You, you live in a postcard. I do. That's nice. Wow, wow. Uh, but, well, let's just go around, find out what, what this are. crazy life has been like. We started with Harry Smith. This is Harry Smith, in case you weren't watching on Monday. The karaoke king of North Central <laughs> Florida. It's not just karaoke. It's... It's not just karaoke, it's Harryoke. What was the reaction after your piece went on here? Wow, we watched the piece and uh, jumped right in the car to go to work and got a mile away and had 110 emails already <laughs> yeah. in the course of one mile away. Well, I'd have to say, I, I went down there, I had no idea what we were coming into. You are a star. You're a star in Thank your you. own right. You have so much talent. And the thing I was so impressed with was your ability to connect with your audience. Really impressive. Big part of it. Yeah, really, really cool. All and right, now let's I want to introduce you to Maggie Rodriguez, my Maggie here. She's an ER nurse in Torrance, California, who showed me the ropes for a day. I, I've told you a million times, I had such a great time. Oh, I was so glad you came. I had an awesome time, too. Tell me what everybody says since the piece aired. Oh, my goodness. I had so many... Um, emails and text messages and everybody was so supportive and they were just so glad and everybody at Torrance Memorial were great my family was great every it was just was so worthwhile do they treat you different now that you're like a TV nurse oh they were teasing me they were, they were, they were teasing me they're like can I have your autograph <laughs> I was 
a blast. So I thank you. It. Well, everybody here is saying the same thing that everybody in LA told us that we look physically alike. <laughs> you do. You it's definitely like have a seriously bit. long lost sisters. There's so. a family resemblance right? in there somewhere. There you go. Well, Erica, I met, of course, uh, just outside St. Louis. Mm -hmm. You got to watch the piece. You're a third grade teacher for anybody who didn't see it um, yesterday, but you're a third grade teacher. You watched the piece with your class yesterday. Yes, wow. I did. With the whole third grade class. Yes. And I'm in love with your third grade. They're such a great group of kids. What did they say, mm -hmm. though, when they saw Mrs. Rochester? They were very excited to yes. see me, to see my personal life, and they were excited to see themselves I'm in sure. action. Was it strange for you to watch? It was very strange for me to watch. <laughs> I didn't realize how hectic my life was until I saw that piece. It is. It That's is. why I'm glad. I'm really excited when I found out you were coming because I'm, I'm happy that you get a little bit of a break. Yes. As much as I adore your family, you do yes. too. I think you deserve it. Yes, yeah. thank you. A day you. off, after all. Imagine that. And you know, and I tell you guys this all the time when I come back, but w when you go on the road, you know, some of the most valuable things you pick up on the road are little things like this mm -hmm. yeah. and and Dave brought a picture of his family and uh, we posed uh, just before we left and these are the things I cherish you know when we can immerse ourselves in the lives of the people we meet you just realize what a glorious country we have yeah. the love David has for his family the love he has for these patients you know that was a light-hearted piece we did <laughs> but you have to have a lot of care and, and David was mentioning that that the hours are endless. It's five, six, seven days a week. But he doesn't do this. He's not a rich man, and I hope you don't mind me saying this. And in, in this economy, Maybe it's even will help. It's even, <laughs> it's even tougher. But he does this because he loves this. And I think that's what we all learned from our namesakes that all of America can take is that when you love what you do, you're a happy person, mm -hmm. and you give your all to your job. And thank you for showing us that example, all of you guys. It's great. Thank and you. I would say, I'm sure you guys get this. I always get asked, what's the Best interview you've ever done and to me it's always the people like you said David, right. the people that you meet uh, that's right and these are the best interviews because these are the best stories it's, it's, believe me it's not the movie stars and politics no. <laughs> yeah, no i don't know about you i got a friend now yeah i got a friend i got a, i got a sister, sister. Yeah, there you go. Well, i got a sister we're a girls we can away without our kids uh, but, but, but you're both taking the breast pumps yes, yes we are and she will forever be my hero with that freezer of milk. I had girlfriends texting me like, is that true? How does she do it? Doctor, all how right. does that work? <laughs> See, I have are an OBGYN. I have a great idea. Before all that, we'll karaoke tonight. Fantastic. There you go. Thank you all for letting us um, um, partake in your lives and uh, share your stories with everybody. We really appreciate it. Uh, we're going to take a break right now. You're watching The Early Show on CBS. Some showers will be there, and once the front exits, a slightly cooler conditions for the weekend. And then before we know it, Tuesday into next Wednesday, here comes another front. And that is what we like to see. We could use some of that rain. Golfers, enjoy this afternoon. Just make sure you're wearing the sunscreen. Enjoy